everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do a painting on a 12 by 12 canvas. The colors that we're using today are Artist Loft Parchment, Deep Yellow, Aqua Green, Phthalo Green, Metallic Cobalt Blue, we've also got Liquitex Medium Magenta, Artist Loft Deep Magenta and Liquitex Deep Violet. And today's pour will be a balloon smash. I have yet to have a successful balloon smash, but this time we're going to go a little bit more abstract, abstract with it. Instead of trying to go with flowers or whatnot, we're just going for design. So I'm not sure that we can actually get disappointed. One, we have beautiful colors, and two, we're not going for anything specific. So, with that being said, I will um, be pouring some paint on the canvas and then smashing it with the balloon. And I've got some paper towel here to um, clean my balloon with um, so I'm not transferring color everywhere. I think for this one, I don't have any plans yet. I've seen uh, several recently where they just like put paint like in the middle and like smash the middle. So I'm trying to decide on what type of a uh, design I want to do for this. I don't think I want it to be all over, but I don't really have an idea in mind. So maybe I do want it to be all over. I don't know. I'm gonna start pouring paint on the canvas and then I'll smash it. I'll speed you up through all of this cause it'll probably be a long semi boring process. So I don't want it to be a 20 minute video of me pouring paint and doing the same motion over and over again. It's just a balloon I've barely filled up with air. I did make a bigger one, but I thought it was too big. So I did this one, but I've got two here just in case you see me switch them out, that's why. Um, and it's literally just smash and then clean it and then keep going. So I'll speed you up through all of this part. I hope you enjoy it and we'll be back for the close up at the end.
here we are for the close-up. I am very excited about this. I think this is the first balloon smash that I can actually say I'm in love with. And so, yeah, let's show you the close-up. The only thing I would change a little bit is there are a little spots of bare canvas I'll have to go through and fill in. But aside from that, I'm so, so, so happy. I did kind of a rainbow. So I had purple. Oh, that's not what it's called. The deep violet. And then I put the dark magenta through that. A dark magenta on each corner. And then the light magenta, the deep yellow the aqua green, the phthalo green, the cobalt blue, and that's all. <laughs> I'm surprised I memorized all that. Uh, so we'll start in the lower left-hand corner here. We got all these really cool swirls. I'll just go diagonal through the through the painting. And then the cobalt blue and the deep magenta just swirling together, making some a few cells, not a whole lot, kind of almost just creating like tree ring lines in the process. We're going to go down the right hand side now. And then we've got the cobalt blue and the aqua green and the yellow and the yellow and the, the medium magenta kind of making some orange effects in here. And then just kind of like the pink and white corner at the end. And then the upper corner here on the other side super cool again some bare canvas but then our yellows and green aqua green and cobalt blue all mixing together creating some really cool effects as you probably saw i didn't clean off the balloon every single smash because the colors were so um similar I didn't feel like it was necessary, nor did it take away from the piece. So I'm okay with that. And I was running out of paper towel. <laughs> so if it was going to muddy or something, if I wasn't going to be happy with it, I definitely would have. But it wasn't making that drastic of a difference. So I just swapped in between color. I made sure I, I uh, cleaned it off in between each color. So I wasn't putting purple in the yellow and pink section and vice versa. But... I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.